All right, it has been six days now since the Francis Scott Key Bridge was brought down after a collision with a cargo ship. Just about an hour ago, Governor Westmore was giving an update on recovery efforts. Let's head over to Scott Broom in Baltimore with the very latest details. Scott? Well, in fact, that briefing and update is still underway. Let me tick off the high points for you on progress. What's going on in the Baltimore Harbor right now? First, the governor reported a 200 ton piece of the key bridge was moved over the weekend successfully and put on a barge. He said that is the same weight and size as the Statue of Liberty. In addition, late today, they expect to attempt to lift another 350 ton piece of the wreck bridge. Again, put it on a barge, bring it to shore and break it down in the coming days. These are just the beginning phases and these are not the pieces that are on top of the ship. The Coast Guard briefed us briefly and said, unfortunately, the big pieces of bridge in that dramatic video and imagery we see that are sitting on the ship underwater are much more complicated to take apart than they had first hoped. He's warning us there it may take some additional time. In addition, there are some side channels that the government and the Army Corps of Engineers are now marking to get smaller types of commercial shipping in and out of the harbor. Things like barges uh, that might be loaded with gravel, coal, fuel, and things like that. In fact, we saw a barge moving out of the harbor. We believe the first major barge uh, to head out since this disaster happened. That happened about an hour ago. Let's listen briefly to Governor Moore and some of his comments a short time ago. Unified Command has moved forward with their first crane operation. They cut up and lifted a piece of the north section of the Key Bridge. The entire operation took 10 hours. And in that time, they were able to cut and lift a 200 ton span of the bridge. Okay, other news breaking today is happening in federal court. The owners of the ship have filed a motion in federal court in Greenbelt, Maryland, that's the Northern District of Maryland, to limit their liability in this incident. They said uh, the current liability cap should be 42.6 million. We'll see how that plays out in court, but obviously things are happening in the courtroom and financially as well. In addition to that, the Small Business Administration has opened an office today, uh, the first office to try to provide economic relief to companies that are struggling through this port closure crisis here in Baltimore. So a lot going on today. Uh, there are divers that have been in the water. Uh, it has been described as extremely dangerous underwater, and every time they move a piece, they say, as they try to describe why it's so complex, they have to re-engineer and reassess, the, see how things might have shifted. A final note about the weather. The one thing that they're concerned about that could really delay all of this is the possibility of thunder and lightning. Uh, in the coming forecast. It's not a huge possibility, but that would shut down operations and it's something they're very much paying attention to. Reporting live at the foot of the Key Bridge, Baltimore Harbor, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. So many different moving pieces here. And of course, as you touched on, Scott, we still have four victims who still need to be recovered. And that's something we'll continue to follow. Appreciate your reporting tonight. Thank you.